Welcome to the INC Giving Show. I'm Lois Paula Returpin. Now, over the last few days, volunteers from all over Alberta and neighboring provinces of British Columbia have gathered together to show their support for victims of the historic Fort McMurray wildfire, which has been said to have destroyed more than 1,600 homes and buildings, forcing nearly 100,000 residents into evacuation homes and searching for shelter. But the Iglesia Cristo Church of Christ has prepared thousands of goodwill packages to drop off at a nearby evacuation center in Lac La Biche. A standing by with the volunteers is Camille to tell us more. Hi Camille, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? Good to have you with us. Thank you for having us. So today we're at Lac La Biche at the Bold Center, which has become a home to hundreds of evacuees of the Fort McMurray wildfire here in Alberta, Canada. In cooperation with the Felix Y. Manalo Foundation, members of the local congregation of Edmonton have gathered non-perishable food items, basic hygiene items, and other necessities for daily living into relief bags for these residents. Here with me is Brother James Legeras, Minister of the Gospel. Hi, Brother James, how are you? Thank you for having us. If you can describe what's happening today, Brother James, uh, what is the spirit of the brethren there uh, at the evacuation center? At present, uh, many of the brethren in, from the Edmonton region have united themselves in traveling a great distance. Uh, this is about a two hour drive, two and a half hour drive uh, north of the city here in Lac La Biche. Uh, we are at the, the Bold Center where many of the evacuees have found themselves and, and many of the brethren you may see in the background have uh, started to form a human chain to get all the relief goods out of uh, four large U-Haul trucks and as well as another trailer. And that is just the uh, love and concern of all the brethren here. Of course, that is also the teaching that is taught inside the Church of Christ with regards to the love of the brotherhood. As you can see behind me, there's a U-Haul. And then all the way here, you can see we have set up tents and all the brethren are making sure that everything is in order. Uh, it's obviously it's been a challenging week. Uh, it, what is the spirit of the brethren? Are there those who have evacuated that are volunteering today as well? Uh, the, the spirit of the brethren here is, uh, is remarkable. They were very excited to be here. They were, they were early at the place that we were all going to meet. Uh, and they've been just happy just to be here at, at present. And with us are some of the brethren that were affected in Fort McMurray. Uh, they are here helping us uh, as well because we have also some brethren that uh, uh, were stationed here or are currently stationed here in, in this uh, evacuation site. And we received word that they also told all the people inside that the Church of Christ or the Iglesia de Cristo will be bringing uh, relief goods uh, to this place so everyone's in high spirits everyone is loving this everyone is participating and everyone is united and so we look forward to seeing the reaction of the brethren we know that this is only the start and we can't wait to see what uh, the the local congregation and all the brethren there in Alberta have uh, for the residents thank you thank you thank sister. you sister and we will definitely keep you updated already more AT humanity efforts and INC giving volunteer opportunities have been planned for the upcoming weeks. Stay tuned as we'll continue to provide updates here from Alberta, Canada. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much, Sister Camille. Now the relief work has only just begun here. There's a long road of recovery ahead for the residents of Fort McMurray and the surrounding area. But we are thankful to God and are happy to report that not a single member of the Church of Christ was injured in the fire nor in the evacuation process and all remain safe today by taking shelter with fellow members from the local congregations of Edmonton. The INC Giving Show will remain with this story, so please stay tuned and continue to pray with us for the survivors of the Fort McMurray fire. I'm Lois Paula. We'll see you next time.